ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you to our uh, final event of the fourth annual Free Thinking Film Festival. Um, for those of you who've been through events the last uh, four nights, you know that this is the most depressing film festival uh, in the world. So uh, over the last four nights, we've uh, last night we had a great film and panel discussion on China's cyber spying. We've had a documentary on the Muslim Brotherhood. We've had three uh, three films on China, including one on uh, a dissident in China who is now in prison. We have a film about the SARS epidemic and how the Chinese government tried to cover it up and how the people who were affected have been mistreated. Um, we've had a look at a critical look at the Children's Aid Society of Ontario. Um, so the, the common thing is uh, depression. <laughs> and and uh, so it, it's uh, it's kind of funny because uh, uh, earlier this week, some of you, I was at the, the Jewish National Fund dinner, which is a great dinner that, 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 that provides for water projects and environmental projects in Israel. And this year they honored a heart surgeon who gave a tremendous 35-minute uplifting speech about genetics and the heart. And it was a very substantive, it was a great speech. And after his speech was over, um, they introduced uh, Brett Stevens, who is a very good commentator for the Wall Street Journal. And Brett got up there and he said, you know, maybe Dr. Roberts didn't understand that uh, when you, because he's not Jewish, that when you speak to a Jewish audience, you're supposed to be as depressing as possible. <laughs> Um, so I follow in that tradition, and, and, uh, but tonight uh, <clears throat> we decided to do uh, something uplifting. And in fact, actually, you know, this is, we've had actually we had a comedian in yesterday who made fun of the Quebec language laws. So we actually have had some fun, but now it's time to, to be uplifted. <clears throat> and when I first heard about this documentary in the summer, um, I was immediately interested because uh, I had seen JJ uh, four, four years ago when he came to Ottawa and I was completely uh, mesmerized. Uh, I thought this is a very important story that people should understand, understand the diversity of the Jewish community worldwide. But the fact that Jews, Christians, and Muslims can work together, can work together in peace and harmony and get together is a story that we don't really hear much about. And I think it's important for us to tell these stories um, and so the opportunity to show the film I thought was important, but also the opportunity to bring JJ into Ottawa was something that was even more interesting. And so tonight we have an amazing film. We're going to have some music. We're going to, you're going to meet JJ. He's going to tell you more about his coffee co-op and the Jewish community of Uganda. And when we're finished, um, you can talk to him privately outside and we'll have free coffee, free Ugandan coffee tonight. And uh, if you like it, please buy a bag uh, of things to take home, or buy two bags, or three bags. Uh, one last thing, we're a not-for-profit organization, and so uh, uh, we rely upon people uh, to coming to our events. Um, so please, if you want to help us out, buy the coffee, buy a CD, buy a DVD, buy a t-shirt. Whatever you can buy helps us out, uh, and it's very, very greatly appreciated. So I'm going to start the, uh, the evening tonight with this terrific a documentary, Delicious Peace Grows in a Ugandan uh, Coffee Bean. Neither despot nor disease can destroy the seed of strongly held